Our lab's theme is to test current technologies and see how they really perform and then let that spur new development. And so we work with the different manufacturers saying, you know, hey, these different things can be improved and how can we improve those things. And so we have to use some type of uh, consistent measure that's accepted by industry. And so we use a, a methodology called Design for Six Sigma Research, in which we use standard quality control reliability techniques to actually measure the effectiveness of the reads in a RFID system. And then from there, we trigger different uh, areas of interest. And so one thing we want to make sure everybody understands is the reliability testing in those systems and operational parameters, and we call that Design for Six Sigma Research Reliability Testing. Design for Six Sigma Research is a data-driven way to eliminate defects in any process. I'll see the, on the screen, that is actually the antenna is reading the tag. Students in the RFID lab at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln use the Six Sigma method to test and improve RFID applications. Like for example, we get a new project and Dr. Jones asks, how are we, how are we going to do it? So first is to define a problem. What's the prob current problem of theirs? Why they need RFID? So that's actually the first phase of Six Sigma thought process and after we, we know where's the problem. So the second, second phase we can say, okay, um, what are we gonna do it? Or how to solve this problem Use RFID. Students apply a consistent five-step approach to every phase of RFID testing. Every problem solving process is basically the five phases. But how you do it from the very beginning to the end to make it perfect, to make it complete, that's the hard problem always, because you will meet so many difficulties through this process, and you think about how to solve it. And that's, that's a precious lesson for me. At the end of the process, RFID students have reliable data that can be applied to almost any industry. Uh -huh.